uh, today is not my replay, but it is Cannonball's assault. You have seen Cannonball here before. He was driving the E100 and Mouse uh, platoon, uh, of which he done really well to win that. And also, he sent a few like the Object 140, the luckiest RNG ever. So now that he's sent this one in STB1, I personally haven't got this tank yet, and I am looking forward to it for a number of reasons. Is that this thing apparently has a really really good uh, performance where you can work the terrain and use your gun to your advantage and holy shit I don't know what's the camera gone wrong here anyway it should be fixed now yeah and the, you can see the turret has got a weird shape of which it's gonna be very hard for them to reliably pen you unless they have a really big caliber gun and if you just show them your turret front you get some lucky ricochet you get some reliable ricochets here and there uh, I'm currently on the Cheeto and um, I just sum it up for you, uh, Kiko, the tier 4 is okay, tier 5 is uh, not that good, yeah not, not that good but again playable, Cheeto somehow, this doesn't look good on paper but when you play it a bit it, it doesn't actually feel bad at all, it's a pretty decent tank I would say, the Cheeto if you can use it properly good rate of fire, good accuracy and such and good gun performance uh, will make you win your games so uh, I think that's a really good tank and then Chiri which I don't, I'm not sure about, it's so big uh, but the thing is Japanese tanks get he so easily to, to get taken like full damage so that's something you gotta get used to and Japanese tanks already love shooting you and here it is, STB1 and Cannonball is going to demonstrate to us in this game how he is going to just obliterate the enemy team and carry this team. Now you have to look at the E100 on our team who is AFK for the beginning of the game <laughs> or just running around re retardedly but they didn't do shit. Now they're finally coming towards this end and Cannonball puts one shot into the Yagpanda 2 and looks for a second one and connects. Now that was actually pretty uh, unusual I, I think to pen that spot because I would personally aim a bit lower into the hole uh, the, the Yak Panda superstructure is actually pretty decent but you can see it's got 260 pen so yeah he can do it and you see the turret in there working as intended uh, putting one shot into another into the weapon trigger he is gonna eat him up so quickly with this uh, pretty good DPM and Oh, we can't find him anymore, but no problem. We just put one blind, but uh, again, that hit the ground as you saw the mud coming out. Now, the mouse is mounting a frontal push, but STV1 260 pen doesn't go through the side of the mouse. And this time, if he loads heat next round, he can pen that guy's turret armor. He tracks him in place. The mouse returns and misses. Now, just go for the turret cheek, which is the exact thing to do against the mouse. Now, if you want to pen the mouse, you really just pen it through the mantle. The most reliable source uh, if you fire heat uh, is just to hit it directly 90 degrees perpendicular onto the mouse. And oh, that side up, that side shot into the mouse was pretty nice. Actually, pen. Uh, and then another shot, and the mouse is so outplayed here. Out, out played, out position. He is, he is dead here, and that's what you shouldn't do in the mouse to get out played this hard. Now you see, it's a, it's an orange indicator, but everybody can pen a mouse if it's got 260 pen. My object 140 will pen this mouse as well, even though it says uh, amber penetration indicator. If you hit it on, right on the flat part, it's doomed to pen really. The, the mouse, I, I, I personally don't. Know if I want to get it or not because it's slow, it's unreliable, it get penned by everybody if they fire gold. Okay, Waffen is gonna come out, he has to get down here and hit. He lines up a perfect shot into the 1375 and aligns the kill. Now, the Waffen Trigger he can fire HE at him, but it has to hit his gun shield. If you shoot at a hole, at his hole, it's not gonna pen, unlike shooting the Borsig because. This is a Panda 4 medium tank uh, with 390 pen and 390 alpha type of gun. You're not gonna overmatch the whole armor, over over pen that whole armor. So you can either do it like this way, put two shots into him reliably, or you can do the HE. 
uh, into the mantle, but he, sometimes it fails quite a bit and he gets a kill. He's already done 6,000 damage if you haven't even paid attention to it. The E100 on his team still haven't done any damage. It's because they, they just uh, they just got s destroyed before they they got anywhere near to the uh, mouse and such, where Cannonball just killed them so easily. And then they pick up the kill number five and six thousand damage. We'll see if he gets his six one. And the E100 now just too slow to react to anything. Oh, another shot into the GW Tiger P. And uh, that should secure the game, it seems. And E100 just, oh my god, I can't believe they're so bad. It took them 10 minutes to run into the uh, the front and did nothing. So, yeah, pretty waste of a game for the E100. And 6,000 damage already. He must be happy with himself. He's still got 700 health points. So Cannonball can still ideally go up against uh, E100, so if you be careful uh, that they don't shoot him right on him. Uh, using the terrain and speed of this tank, you can now play them quite easily. And there's a shot he can connect, but no, he waits for the E100. Oh, the E100 gets into cover. And Tiger 2, oh, I don't like this. Uh, if I was Cannonball, I would have aimed earlier at the waffle, but again, he d they didn't pen, which is uh, quite lucky to be honest. But he connects a side shot into the Tiger 2 and uh, finish him off. Now it's just the E100, it's a, it's a question of who gets the kill. And he just fired, so you know, side armor, bam, there goes the high roll. 417 to finish the game off with 8 kills, 7000 damage. Now, if you have sent me a replay that I haven't featured, well, uh, I've been receiving like 20 replays recently, so uh, don't send me it if it's ultra good. Uh, or pretty really really good um, by like standard videos on the channel standards because some of them I you send it to me and sometimes I I watch it and then I I, I think you know is is it good enough to be on it uh, or is it interesting enough to be on it but you know if you get a game which is absolutely fantastic uh, when you send it tell me why is it doing that then I could you probably increase your chance of getting featured here uh, by two folds I would say uh, and I'm sorry if it didn't make it onto the channel for various reasons uh, once I recorded some guys video and uh, <laughs> the, the, the encoding software broke and I uh, lost the file and then uh, it just didn't work in, in the end so I deleted all of them because the, the patch updated and my client could no longer read the old one so yeah just keep it, keep in mind. You can send it to me. I'm fine with that. But just make sure it's exciting to watch. And uh, yeah, the STB one just shows you how good of a tank it is. I certainly want to uh, get get my hand on it. It, it seems pretty nice. Uh, again, it's a 1970s um, tank, I think. So uh, quite a modern tank for water tanks, but it's very good tank. And uh, we'll see you next time.